Hi. Oh, I'd like to do a couple of demos involving a microwave oven. And uh, this microwave oven belongs to the Department of Chemistry. I picked it up at a garage sale a few years ago for like five, ten dollars. Just made sure it worked. And uh, it works. But don't do this at home. Do it like at a friend's house where you won't ruin your own microwave because putting stuff on the microwave oven like soap, compact discs, and other items it's messy and uh, some things that are reflective that contain metals go ahead and ruin the uh, microwave generator. So I put a bar of soap inside the microwave oven and soap contains a quite uh, large quantity of water. What's happening inside of a microwave oven is this. The electromagnetic radiation, the EM, is tuned so that the waves come in and the water molecules rotate. And these water molecules that rotate will be near other water molecules, they'll speed up, and so we're giving them energy, it's heat. So items inside the microwave heat up because of water content. So the waves are coming off of the microwave generator, hitting the soap, and the soap contains quite a bit of water there. So the soap is expanding, opening up quite a bit, heating up. Oh, that actually smells really good compared to a chemistry room. Get this going a little bit more even. Um, one item in particular not to put into your home microwave oven would be a compact disc. And it's a neat little effect. Maybe we'll be able to zoom in and see it in a moment. But compact discs contain a sheet of metal, thin foil, that uh, goes ahead and has the, the holes, the zeros and the ones, the digitally stored data, and several layers of plastic and inside of a microwave oven why the plastics are going to melt. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when we put a compact disc inside the microwave. I'll put the soap up on top, kind of the microwave casualties. A compact disc, check this out. It's a thin foil surface. Electrons are shot off of there from the waves. The uh, compact disc is a little warm. Uh, that's not very good. I wouldn't put that into the compact disc player anymore. So poor Britney Spears CD, it's all gone. An incandescent light bulb, standard light bulb, has a small wire coming up in and around and then down and uh, it contains some electrons. If we can get those electrons to surface, I call it, to move in the filament, see what happens. So we have ourselves a light bulb. This is not a very efficient way of lighting up a room, but it is some evidence that the uh, electrons are going through the filament there. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. Some of these light bulbs will have hot spots. The wires will break and go out. Others, they, they last pretty long inside the microwave oven. And this one, still going strong. Um, if we get a nice hot spot near the metal and the glass interface, sometimes this will go ahead and catch on fire. So we've had fires and many little explosions inside of microwave ovens. I like the colors that we get. So it almost looks like a green or a blue. So microwave ovens are pretty fascinating. Pretty cool. Up, oh, still going. You can have a nice little view of that. So uh, watch the video, but don't do it at home. One more. Come on, give us one more. Oh, that was nice. Very good. And the light bulb here is still intact.